Hello everybody, I am Hema Shree, studying in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, currently pursuing my first year B in Electronics and Communication. In this video, let us know about Integral Calculus. Many find it to be difficult, but let us make it easy. Introduction Integral Calculus is a branch of calculus where we study integrals and their properties. Integration is the inverse process of differentiation and it is used to find areas of two-dimensional regions and finding the value of 3D regions. Let us understand about understanding integration. Integration is the process of finding the accumulated quantity of a function over a given interval. It involves the calculation of area under the curve and is essential in determining various physical quantities such as displacement, velocity and volume. Let us see applications in engineering about integrals. Engineers extensively utilize integral calculus for structural analysis, mechanical design, and control systems. Integration aids in computing stress, distribution, moment of inertia, and electrical circuit parameters. Here is a small sum that you can understand easily if you concentrate the question is integral 0 to 2 integral 1 to 2 x square plus y square into dx into dy is the given question the first step is to integrate x square plus y square with respect to dx if in case they had given dy in the place of dx then we had to integrate it with respect to dy since they have given dx first so we are integrating it with respect to dx first the first step goes like this integral 0 to 2 remains the same integrating x square with respect to dx gives x cube by 3 plus integrating y square with respect to dx remains constant so it is written as it is then integral of dx is x then the upper limit 2 and the lower limit 1 is shifted to the right hand side in, into dy. The next step is to apply the upper limit to the equation that is in place of x. Since we differentiated it with respect to x, we are applying the upper limit 2 in the place of x and subtracting the same equation by applying the lower limit 1 in the place of x. That goes like this integral 0 to 2 in the place of x it is 2 so it will be 2 cube by 3 plus y square and then in place of x it will be 2 so it will be 2 y square minus that is subtracting again the same equation by substituting the lower limit 1 in the place of x that is 1 cube will be 1 so it is 1 by 3 plus y square into 1 is y square itself and into dy. The next step is to simplify. Integral 0 to 2, 2 cube is 8, so it will be 8 by 3 plus 2 y square minus into plus is minus, so it is minus 1 by 3, then minus into plus y square is minus y square into dy. The next step is also simplification, that is integral 0 to 2, here 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 since the denominator are equal we are going to minus this 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is 7 by 3 plus 2 y square minus y square is y square into dy then now we have got an another equation that is 7 by 3 plus y square now we have to integrate this particular term or equation with respect to dy that is 7 by 3 integrating with respect to dy is constant so constant remains as it is integral of dy is y plus y square integrating with respect to dy gives y cube by 3 that is also by formula then the limits 0 and 2 are shifted to the 
right hand side. Again the same procedure. We have to apply the low upper limit to the equation and subtract in the place of y and then subtract the same equation by applying the lower limit in the place of y. It go, it look, it go like this 7 by 3 y in place of y we are uh, substituting 2 plus y cube it will be 2 cube by 3 and minus since y place should be substituted by the lower limit 0 so anything into 0 is 0 it will be 0, uh, 7 by 3 y will be 0 and if you substitute 0 in the place of y cube also it will be 0 so it is directly written as minus 0 then the integration goes like this. 7 into 2 is 14 by 3 plus 2 cube is 8. It will be 8 by 3. So 14 by 3 plus 8 by 3 gives 22 by 3. So this is the final answer. Coming to the conclusion. Integral calculus serves as the cornerstone of mathematical analysis which is very much important in mathematics if you understand it will be surely easy offering profound insights into the quantitative aspects of nature and human endeavors its versatility and widespread applicability underscore its enduring relevance in diverse domains Hope you guys understood the video. If you find this video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.